And today, there's a new program that has been trying to take hold in our schools, Satan Clubs. One Virginia town is already seeing it firsthand. B.M. Williams Primary School has introduced the After School Satan Club, organized by the Satanic Temple. The club promotes activities centered around the seven fundamental tenets of Satanism. These tenets are you know, the Satanic equivalent of the Ten Commandments. And this obviously has upset parents. One mom spoke to Fox. Watch. This was truly when parents showed up. Um, it had a record turnout. Parents in opposition were the majority turnout, um, overwhelming majority turnout. When we're discussing Satan clubs in our public schools, we are failing our children. We are failing our children. Um, these are frightening images. This is a frightening ideology. Um, it's, it's, it's the responsibility of the adults in the room yeah. to stand up and speak up for the parents. We have to do better. I get it. We don't want Satan being promoted to our children. Well, we still have some questions. So let's ask the Satanic Temple spokesperson, Lucian Greaves. All right, Lucian. If Satan is Good evil, I you, thought. Jesse. Nice to meet you, too. If Satan's evil, why should kids be in an evil club? Well, obviously, we don't view Satan as evil, and it really doesn't matter to us what your mythology is surrounding Satan, you need to ask yourself if your distaste over us identifying as Satanists is strong enough that you would abandon the principles of free speech and religious liberty. I always thought Satan was like sex, you know, like when you're 18, Satan sex, do your thing. Yeah, I don't even know what that means. Satan sex, do your thing, it's cool. Like what, what are you talking about? What? But I don't know if I would want Satan in schools. You understand how parents feel, right? This is where the true ignorance begins. <laughs> you understand how parents feel, right? Introducing religion that not all the parents agree with into our schools. Don't you, Jesse? We said from the beginning, once you open these floodgates, they're open, bro. You don't get to pick and choose what religions you think are okay and not okay. Who's the arbiter of, of what religions are okay and which ones aren't? Jesse Waters? Mr. McSmirk? Fuck you! Well, parents can feel that way, and many parents feel similarly about evangelical after-school clubs. And in fact, we put our club in place to offer an alternative against an evangelical club that's explicitly designed to convert children and get them to proselytize to other kids. So if parents don't want to send their kids to an after-school Satan club, they can send them to an evangelical club. There's other religious clubs. Really, I think the controversy just evades the issue as to whether or not we're willing to allow government functionaries at school boards or whatever to simply shut down somebody's religious liberty or free speech because they don't like it. So you're kind of doing it to tweak the system. I get it. Yeah, something's telling me you don't get it. Something's really, really screaming to me that you really just don't and won't ever get it, Jesse. What are these tenets of Satanism? Can you enlighten me? Yeah, I think the tenets are very pro-social. They're almost universal, I would think. And, and I think as time goes on, we'll kind of converge on a consensus morality. But as but we don't have to. I mean, people, we're not looking to convert people into Satanism. We're not even well, teaching children about what, Satanism what's the in the tenet? classes. What, give me a tenet. One should strive to act with compassion and empathy with it to all creatures within reason. Oh, that sounds fun. He's just not comprehending how foolish he and all his party looks. You're the people that have been screaming from the rooftops and the microphones at the school board meetings that you want your religion and you want your Christian religion and your evangelical religion to dictate the way the schools teach the children, all the children. You're saying that religion needs to have a place in politics and in education. And we said this entire time, once you open those floodgates, you can't pick and choose what religions come in and out. 
You don't get to make that choice. And they say, no, of course we can't. We don't want to. Until the first fucking religion comes through the door that they're like, "Uh uh-uh. Oh, no, not that one. All the other ones, but not that one. It's common sense. Why not? Because, I mean, just look at it. I mean, oh, my God. Ew. I mean, gross. I mean, they do it with abortion. We are patriots and all about freedom over everyone's bodies. And we shouldn't have to wear masks. I want control over my own body. I am American. I deserve that. Oh, but abortion? You're killing babies. So it's different. They make a fucking excuse to abandon their ideology. The first signs of trouble or pushback on their ideology, they fucking abandon ship.